Game Changer offers a live streaming, live scoring, and scoreboarding on your live stream kind of solution for many sports. I'm focusing mostly on baseball and softball in this particular video, and I'm not going to ask you to wade through the video to find what my opinion of Game Changer is. Here it is up front. I don't recommend Game Changer for your live streaming solution. You might want to stick around, though, and find out why I don't recommend Game Changer as your go-to live streaming solution. Here's what I think Game Changer gets right. Scorekeeping, stat keeping. I think they are the best stat keeping solution that is available. And if you're wanting to keep stats, Game Changer is a great way to go. Ease of use for moms and dads who want to keep up with the balls and strikes and outs and hits of their team or their kid. It is a great solution. And streaming, going live with a camera for Game Changer is not difficult. As a matter of fact, they offer a level of integration to my Mevo camera. It automatically sends the RTMP destination. When you tap the button, it will launch it into your Mevo app. And all you have to do is just press go live. And then it streams to the Game Changer decided destination. It does not stream to YouTube. It does not stream to Twitch. It does not stream to Facebook. It doesn't allow that option at this point in its evolution. And for me, that's not the best. It might be a solution for folks who don't already have their team, their fan base trained to go to a certain spot. But for me, it's not ideal. And here's what I think Game Changer gets wrong. It streams to the Game Changer destination. That's the whole deal breaker for me. I need to be able to send my live stream to that particular community YouTube channel that we keep for all the things that happen in this community. Folks are used to going there, and that's where I want to continue to send them. I don't want them to have to go through the Game Changer app or the Game Changer website to get there. And then there's another piece. There are subscription levels that you have to be a part of in order to get some of the features that Game Changer offers. For example, fans without a subscription are always going to have access to roster schedules, team messaging, and live game stream. But that live game stream is not the live stream of the game. It is an animated version of what's happening on the field. That's good for some folks, maybe perfectly acceptable for folks, but for the people who want to tune in and watch their child at bat because they're stuck at work somewhere, this is not the same thing. And then their information page says fans with a plus subscription will have access to all basic content in addition to the live game stream in an, at another place, plus the box scores. You, you can see all that is offered there. And then folks with a premium subscription, there's a whole nother level to pay for to get more information. And I just got to be honest with you, I'm going to do my best to protect the moms and dads, the fans who want to watch these kids play, protect them from having to pay to do that. I'm not saying Game Changer is wrong for this. They work really hard and it takes money to do that. They're trying to generate some of that money. I don't fault them for it at all. But on my end of it, if I can use a different service or if I can come up with those scoreboards and streaming on my own, I'm not going to ask them to pay a subscription service to get all of the features that I can offer them on whatever platform I choose to go to. And now here's just my overall opinion about Game Changer. It started life as a stat tracking app, and it added streaming to its bag of tricks. That's not a bad thing, but I do believe it keeps it from being the best thing. Previously, I mentioned the integration between Game Changer and a scoreboard that is being installed at our high school. I've been back and forth in conversation with our high school baseball coach, and I need to apologize he misunderstood what that level of integration was, and he has finally let me know he doesn't think Game Changer will be integrated into this scoreboard. And so if I've created any confusion for you, let me apologize to you. I did not mean to do that. And so it looks like Game Changer integrated into a scoreboard is not the thing that he thought it was. 
and I will not be pursuing that at all. As a matter of fact, I will be sticking with Sideline HD for our streams for this year. We're going to look at Sideline HD next. I'll tell you what they get right, what they get wrong, and why I do recommend Sideline HD as my go-to streaming service.